In this video, I'm going to tell you how I generate amazing comic book art with stable diffusion. In fact, I'm going to go into a bit more detail this time and highlight my workflow and how I went from this to this. This video will be helpful for you to improve your art or probably tweak and apply these settings yourself. First off, what's the model? Well, it's Comic Vapes. I've spoken about this in my Stable Diffusion Models video as well. And this for me is one of the most underrated models available in Civit AI. Everyone is focused on anime art. Come on, give some love to the good old comic books. The process is as usual. Go to the Comic Babes model page on Civit AI, hit the download button, and load the model on Stable Diffusion. What you see right now is the first First opening interface of Stable Diffusion, but with the Comic Babes model loaded and ready to go. For this tutorial, I'm going to start generating an image of Batgirl, because I've started playing Gotham Knights these days. Great game, by the way, but still not as good as the Arkham series. But let's get to the point. First, I'm going to load my negative props. I'll include it below in the description, but if I forget, please make sure to remind me. Now, how well will this model handle if I just type Batgirl into the prompt? Keep the settings the same and hit the generate button. Okay, that was pretty accurate. We didn't specify anything, but it gave a nice art. Sure, the eyes are blurry and the quality is bad, but this is a good starting point. This model was trained on comic book art, so it does have the ability to recognize popular comic book characters. Now it's time to make it more advanced. I increase the prompts in my usual prompting style. I specify the character from top to bottom. In this case, black hair, blue eyes, and the dress she's wearing. And then tell what type of image I want. I want a portrait. And then the expression of her, which is angry. And then the background and time. You can follow the style for your own prompts as well. Trust me, it works really well for me. And there we go. Got some nice art. It's still blurry because it's 512 by 512, but it gives us what we need. Let me increase the batch count to four and regenerate. And we got a nice batch of art. Look at this first one. Some little upscaling and a few adjustments would make it perfect. Now that I have the basic prompt ready, I add some more details. Batgirl always wears a mask, so we want that. And we also need the good old bat cape. Aha! Now we got the good old Batgirl in her costume. Sure, it has its issues and you can't call the thing in the first image a mask, but we've got the basic image ready. Now it's time to move the settings. Now there are a few settings that work well with this model. For example, it does well with the DPM++ SDE Keras Sampler, and with the sampling steps set to a higher amount and the CFG scale set to 9, it can make the artwork better. But make sure not to set the sampling steps very high. These are the images I got when the sampling steps were set to 50, and you can see some of the results had gotten blurry. You can see even though they are high quality, they have gotten blurry. But if I set sampling steps to something like 35, and even change the resolution to a portrait by keeping height to 768, and specifying we need a black bat costume, you can see we get much better results. Look at these images. Not the blur is gone, and the eyes are definitely doing better than before. Here's the cool thing about this model. You can even generate art in the 512 by 1024 size. Most models have been trained using 512 by 512 images, so normally when you put this size, you get images with two heads or one person below the other. But in this case, it works really well. You can see now we've got nearly full body shorts without extra body parts. This is where the negative prompts I provided come to play as well. So you might ask, wait, so why don't you use that? The higher the resolution, the better, right? Right? Well, stick around and I'll show you why I don't use this size, because the step I use after this consumes my entire VGA. And that's it, guys. These are the basic settings that I use whenever I generate comic book art from this model. You can click the restore faces option, but I've tried that and it doesn't do much for this model. If I zoom, the images are generated with a restore faces option. You can still see the issue is there. If I send this to the extras tab and upscale it by using my favorite R Eskrin 4X anime upscaler, you can see the issue becomes more obvious. This Batgirl seriously needs better eyes. Oh, and by the way, you could also use the normal R Eskrin upscaler, but I've always found out this generates much better art. So how do I fix her eyes? Well, this is where stable diffusion eats my VGA. Click on hires fix checkbox and choose the upscaler as R. Eskrin 4X Plus Anime 6B. Now, let's hit generate. <laughs> Whoops, did you see the problem now? The new hires fix pulls a lot of resources from your VGA. And since I'm also screen recording this, it's pretty much at the brink of throwing an out of memory error. Now remember, this is good with the old 512 by 768 resolution. So you can pretty much imagine what would happen if I went with a higher resolution. 
that's the reason why I didn't use the good old 512 by 1024 resolution. But if you are someone who has a good VGA like the RTX 4090, feel free to give it a shot. All right, I literally had to stop screen recording and restart the video in order to keep the progress bar moving, but the results were worth it. Look at her eyes. Now they look perfect. Add some upscaling to this and you get a really great image. Check this out. Now I generated four images with the same settings and you can see how good these images are. The bat logo needs some modifications, but we can correct that along the way. Let me upscale this to two and boom, we got a perfect image. Now that we've got the initial result, we just need to do some modification. So I'm gonna copy the seed of this image, paste it in the box, and now it's time for a little lesson. You know, there's a way you should be using the hires.fix option. Usually the lower the higher steps is, the better the quality, but it consumes more of your VGA. The general rule of thumb is to set your higher step to half of your regular steps to maintain a balance between quality and performance. And the time also varies depending on the upscaler as well. When I generally want to create a batch of images, or if I want a quick image generation, I use this method. When I want something with more quality and would love some tiny details done right, I keep it to zero and listen to my VGA fans spin louder than fan wings and airplane engines. Now that our initial image is done, it's just about adding some tweaks. This is where you should be your own guide. Even if you followed my tutorial closely, the image you've gotten might be completely different from the one I got. So the tweaks you should do to the image should be completely different. In my case, I'm going to increase the weight of the cape since I need the cape to be more visible without the hair. And since the bat logo needs some correction, I'm going to separately add that as well. Keep the batch size four, wait a couple of millennia, and then we get the results. All right, in the new results, they took the yellow bat emblem keyboard way too seriously. So we're gonna increase the weight of the black bat costume, include the bat emblem keyword, and then I'm going to set the variation seed to 0.2 after clicking the extra checkbox right here. The higher the variation seed is, the more different the image becomes, and the lower the variation seed is, the closer the generated image is to the original image. Let's have two images this time. Now this time the results were pretty interesting since we got a closer image with a good bat logo, but the cape still looks a bit too much. Remove the weight of the cape and then copy and paste the variation variation seed of this image, and let's generate four images again. All right, this time our images were much closer to the results, but this bat logo is still giving me a bit of trouble. So let me give this another shot. Okay, now after a couple of tries, I got a perfect image. It has all the nice details. It got the eyes right, and it has the perfect background. Now you can pretty much upscale it and get the result. So that's it, guys. That's my full workflow. I wanted to keep this simple, so I didn't use any other extension like Control Net, Open Pose Models, the InPaint Draw, or editing in this Photopea, which is the perfect Photoshop replacement for free. Let me know if you want a bit of an advanced tutorial on this. But that's it for today. Like and subscribe as usual. I'm bringing more workflows like this so you can get a better understanding. So stay tuned for that. And we're going to finish off with a slideshow of some of my art generated from this model. Bye.